And winner right court, Beltran coming in to serve. It's two serving three. Our head referee, Francisco Gomez from Bogota in Colombia. Beltran. Andres Acuna. Roll out. Hermano Andres. Much to the joy of his brother, Sergio. Two serving four, De La Rosa, backhand, half lob serve. Set up again, Beltran, winner, no, nope. rolled it out. What's your uh, pulse on this match, Gustavo? Andres, singles champ in the World Games last month in Alabama. Congratulations to him. His folks flew in from the La Capital, San Jose, Carlos and Alejandro. They're here in the bleachers right behind the head ref, Gomez. So, empate, Gustavo, 4-4. Reverse, De La Rosa point, left corner, 5-4. First lead, Gustavo, for Team Mexico. De La Rosa serving. Comes back with the half lob with the backhand. Andres. Beltran skips it in. Point scored for Costa Rica. Not only do they get a point, they come in to serve. So another empate, a tie at five, serving five. Here in San Luis Potosi, the mecca of a racquetball in the world, Gustavo. In the IRT, we have uh, este Daniel De La Rosa, Andre Parrilla, both from this uh, local club, Lomas Club here in San Luis. And that's just the beginning of all the players that are playing down in San Luis Potosí. His partner, four decades of championship racquetball, Beltran. Ball live. And Sergio, the youngest of the four from Costa Rica, puts it away. 6-5, his brother will serve, Andres. I want to thank the International Racquetball Federation President Osvaldo Maggi, Luke St. Ange back in Colorado Springs. The youngest player, 23 years old, is Sergio Acuna, and of course his brother, four years older at 27. We have uh, Daniel La, Ro La Rosa, 29, and the oldest and senior player here, Alvaro Beltran, 43 years old. I think the call by Gomez was a fault serve, second serve. We're tied at six, game one. Remember, win by two. Comes up the middle, back up top. We call that flat, my friend. That did not bounce after hitting the front wall. Great return by De La Rosa, handcuffing Andres along that left side wall, so we're tied at seven. Ball live, up top. Sergio's come out with a vengeance, Gustavo. I believe he's trying to make up for his earlier singles play. Yeah, he lost to Kono from Japan. Three games to zero. Congratulations, thank you for all the countries. 14 of them represented here 
at the 21st edition of the IRF World Racquetball Championships. Another tie, Gustavo, 8-8. Eight, eight. Speaking about the uh, senior player here, Alvaro, he also has the most world championships of any player, along with uh, Rocky Carson from the United States. And what's that number? Five. Each of them have five. What's interesting is the uh, 2000 world championships. Alvaro, that was his only singles win. He defeated Rocky Carson. Indeed. So we have a timeout on the floor. Each team or player in singles and in mixed. We have the mixed division this time. Medal division is entitled to one resource, one timeout per game, one minute in length. So we're going to stay here, talk a little bit about this facility, La Loma Central Deportivo. What a facility. You and I have been utilizing it every day, have we not? Yes, we have. This morning, in fact, we helped them clean before and working out at 7 in the morning. <laughs> and uh, how wonderful it was. Sunday morning, of course, everybody starts a little bit later. But knowing that we had to be here by 10, uh, we needed to get in here, get our workout. They have uh, eight beautiful courts, uh, glass back courts. They have four spectacular squash courts. Uh, not to say, uh, what what uh, length is the Olympic pool? Is it? It's, it's, it's an, a true Olympic-sized pool. Thank you for telling our audience that uh, we did some cross training today. In addition to uh, cardio and weights, we did a little cleaning, housekeeping. So we're going to resume play. Mexico, one point lead, trying to get to 11 and earn the first game. It's 9 8, game number one. Yeah. Want to welcome Alexis Iwasa, our producer right now. Lady in red. Also a Team Canada player oftentimes. She'll be back. All live. Sergio. Quick hands. Wide angle covered by Beltron. Should be avoidable hinder. Oh, he called a replay. I don't believe we have appeals op uh, available for this match. We will for perhaps the quarterfinals and the semis and the finals. We will have the option to appeal. And we'll talk about the difference appeal, uh, the different appeal protocols for this tournament, Gustavo, a little bit later. That is correct. They wanted to appeal, but knowing there was nobody to appeal to. Oh, the they, can ap they can appeal to their opponents. <laughs> We're confident that Danielle and uh, Alvaro are going to overturn it, right? That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> so there's an explanation from Gomez. Gomez, a quality racquetball player. He played for Team Columbia for years, and he's now one of our professional IRF refs. I want to welcome Francine Davis over here to our right. Welcome, Fran. Beautiful smile. Just watched one of her players, uh, Langoria, win in doubles. So we're just uh, clarifying some rules here with the head ref. We just want to make sure that we are following the protocol and going the right ways. This is not a loss of timeout for the country. This is a referee timeout just to clarify the rules. by Gomez. It's a question on the rule. Bottom line is they're going to replay it. 12 a replay. 
Yeah, a bit of an explanation he's trying to give the Costa Rican team is that uh, the, the rule is he's got the 10 seconds to serve from the time that he calls the score. But he made the ball drop and did, he looked at the receiver and didn't make the serve. I'm listening to him. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you are allowed to drop the ball as long as you make no motion, like in accordance to you taking the serve. It is just a second serve. If it was not intentional or tried to fake the other yeah. team, yes, that is correct. Unintentional drop of the ball, nothing, just continue the 10 second play. If it's an intentional drop and he does not go through with the service motion, then it would be a false serve. Because from my perspective, it just looked like Daniel wasn't sure that he had the score and just wanted to double check before having a false serve. When in doubt, folks, give the benefit of the doubt, at least for now, it's earlier in the match. Give the benefit of the doubt to the players. So I believe it was a, a well a replay, correct, Gustavo? I think that's what they need to play. So meanwhile, Costa Rica scored the last point. It's 9-9 coming in to serve. First to 11, win by two. Andres, the elder of the Acuna brothers, serving. De La Rosa, back left. Beltran, back right. Short serve. So, Piso, it's game point number one now for Costa Rica, 10-9. Gustavo, if uh, Mexico earns a handout here, it'll go overtime this game. Got to win by two on overtime. Beautiful return of the serve there, tying it up. We say, great serve, better return. Now we go to overtime. 10-10, first to 12. That was an so, excellent call that Pacho made, and I've seen that happen a lot here. Foot was over the front uh, short line, front service line, and uh, the referee called that. So he called a replay. Body language from Andres asking for an avoidable hinder did not get that call. So first serve. Any dead ball hinder during the rally nullifies the previous false serve and reverts back to first serve. Ball down by Beltran. So it's now game point number one for Mexico, 11-10. On the wall, ball set up. Z ball. Ball down. Beltran, pinch winner right corner from deep court. Game one is complete, 12, Mexico 10. Costa Rica will be back on the IRF Facebook and YouTube networks. So I'll come back and then uh
We're live once again, folks. Gary Masaroff, Gustavo Farrell, Alexis Iwasa, and Pablo Farhe here. Front court central. You're watching Team Mexico get ready for game two. They won the first game, 12-10 over Team Costa Rica. This is pool play doubles. Gustavo, your pulse on the first game? I have to say, Gary, I think that Andres Acuna of Team Costa Rica came out firing, the senior of the brother team here and he knew he had to get on the board quickly. He did, he got the Mexico team on the defensive. What I did see was the Mexico team settled down a little bit into the, the middle of the game. They had a couple of questionable calls that uh, seemed to favor the Mexico team a little more. The Costa Rican boys got a little frustrated. And in the end, the uh, experience of Alvaro Beltran, I think, uh, got the win in this overtime first game, 12-10. Absolutely. Thank you for your wisdom, my friend. This is game two, Andres Acuna from La Capital, San Jose in Costa Rica. 0-0, zero, zero, game two. Ball down. Of a loose drive serve by Andres, put away by De La Rosa. So Mexico, folks, side out and a points rally scoring. First one to 11, win by two. All live. Well, they replay. So the call by Gomez was ball up. Visual hinder replay, first serve. That was a good call. Good call by the referee. We repeat. Mexico serving 1-0. So. Skipped it in. De La Rosa up front. Rips across court into the racket of Andres. 3-0, game two. 21st edition International Racquetball Federation World Championships. Thank you for tuning in, folks. Ball down. Sidewall, front wall winner, Acuna. Great shot. Stopped the, the run there. I was afraid they were going to get away from them too early, too quickly. Alvaro's sitting there enticing Costa Rica. Point called for no no appeals available here. No lines people, no uh, monitor. Not until the semis. So Gomez calls a point. It's 2-3, game two. I think that was a good call. The ball was behind Beltran. Reached back to get it. So he called a piso, a skip, I believe. That's accurate. So it's a handout, one down, and a point for the receiving team, Mexico. Remember, rally scoring, folks. Rally scoring. It's difficult for the referees sometimes because they're actually giving a point to the receiving team. with the serving team still in the box. Okay, the call there was a short serve, second serve. Great hands. Back up top. So the ceiling ball by Andres, pretty loose. And Mexico took advantage. Wide angle winner. Ball came in the middle. Both players held up. 
first serve again. Acuna up front. Oh, what a great get. Alvaro. So, there's a case where Costa Rica had multiple chances to end the rally, did everything but win it. Point scored for Mexico. I think in this case, no ball is down, as you saw there. They can pick just about everything up, but it's flat rollout. So timeout on the floor from Costa Rica. We'll be back here on the IRF network. Gustavo Farrell, Alexis Iwasa, Pablo Farge, La Loma, Central Deportivo here in San Luis Potosi, Mexico. What a beautiful city, Gustavo. Beautiful city. We sit here in kind of the, the middle of Mexico. It's a city of about 850,000 people. It's uh, kind of an access point to what is the South Mexico City, the West Guadalajara, and uh, the North City of Monterrey. So it's a uh, very industrious city. Uh, it uh, definitely is a place to, to visit, and uh, here this club has, has put itself in a wonderful location. We're back playing, 6-2 Mexico game two. They won the first 12-10, this is the best of five. Each to 11 points, win by two. Sergio, this is his first international event after returning from Spain. He was studying in Spain. Ball down. Oh, what great hands by Beltran. That, that's that experience. He saw uh, Andres Acuna back, and Sergio was right on his heels, and he pinched it into the uh, right corner, knew, knowing exactly where the Acunas were. Just soft hands, like picking up the 10-pin in bowling. 7-2 when we return. So this is called an informal timeout, a referee timeout to make sure the playing conditions are safe. Each team is entitled to one formal timeout, one minute in length. By the time we're done with this one, Gustavo, it's probably going to be closer to two minutes. We're probably, uh, I want to say about 5,500 feet above sea level here. So that ball, in addition to being a fairly fast ball, not, not the fastest ball we, we played with, but it uh, certainly goes fast here and as hard as these guys hit. Thank you to Gearbox, the official racquetball of the International Racquetball Federation. Enticement by Beltran. Enticement number two. Sergio right side, set up. Again, Beltran was watching exactly where Acuna was when he hit that splat to the right wall. It's hard to see that splat come off the glass. 20 feet of glass along this right side here. Take two, game two. Make that nine two. Much to the chagrin of Sergio and his Brother on the left side. Body language has changed here. 9 2, game two. <laughs> it's impressive. And the third opportunity for Beltron. He puts it away. Playing a little chess out here. So it's game point number one in game two for Mexico. Ball called down, so it's 11-2. Before we break, Mexico leads 2-0. Gustavo? I think uh, this is more of what we expected. The first game, I was a little surprised that uh, Costa Rica did as well as they did. 
the uh, team of Mexico now has has shown shown what they can do. They are uh, twice world champions already. Um, uh, and Alvaro Beltran in his five world championships, two of those have been with uh, Daniel de la Rosa. The other two, of course, with a great player from Chihuahua, Javier Moreno. My Ju regards, El Menor, Jr. El Menor, El Menor. Saludos a Javier Moreno. Hope you're watching and always thinking of you here. Thank you to our viewing audience, yes. And I just found out from our co-producer, uh, Alexis, uh, we're not going to be breaking during the timeouts, which is wonderful. We have an opportunity to share some wisdom, some anecdotes with our viewing audience. So let's review, Gustavo. This is the 21st edition of the International Racquetball Federation World Championships. It's singles, doubles, and mixed. Mix is new. So we have a, a, some new set of rules that you're going to review right now, which, which began back in February of this year. Yes, every uh, world championship year there's an opportunity to bring in some new rules and the delegates, the, the countries can suggest those and these were some of the ones that were passed. Uh, first of all, the, the scoring, which is the first time this takes place, uh, is the best of three games to 11. You've got to win by two, what we call the overtime rule. So this will conceivably keep going until uh, 100 points. Yeah, the Wimbledon scoring, it could be 81 to 79. That's right. That's right. Um, service order remains the same. The, the, in the doubles, the uh, first server of any game has to remain the first server, second server. What is a little different, and it's been in effect already, is that the rally scoring allows both the serving and the receiving team to score at all times. Uh, we do have uh, some new electronics in this, so we're learning that as well on how to use the uh, iPads, so to speak. The, the officials have done a great job. Maybe talk a little bit about how many officials we have and from what countries. We, we will get that to that the next break. So we're about to start game three, two games to zero, Mexico, Mexico serving. Set up. Skipped in. A good start for Team Mexico, 1-0 game three. I sense the uh, Costa Rican team is over swinging a little bit. They, they don't have a coaching staff here, unless you want to call Carlos and uh, Alejandro, their parents, their coaches. And Mexico has multiple coaches. So, side out, coming in to serve. Costa Rica 1-1 one, one game number three. The so. other, uh, if I may, Gary, the other, some of the rules that are changing are the uh, rest periods. We have two minutes before, between each game. Only one timeout per game, and that's a one-minute timeout. Thank you. What a great serve. Front wall. Sidewall, Nick Winter by Beltran, that inside out backhand cut. So it's a, it's a handout and the receivers score a point. So it's one, two now in game three. Back up top, set up. So the call on the court is skip ball off that video right side. Point for Mexico, 3-1. That was a good call. Poncho, Francisco Poncho, Pato Gomez, our ref. Soft hands, De La Rosa. Soft hands again. Impresionante, Gustavo. No words for that one. Or a three-letter word. Wow. It's great working with you again, buddy. It's been three years. He makes it look so easy, doesn't he? De la he does. Rosa. He does. Now residing in Phoenix and part-time in San Antonio, Texas. 
Wide angle. Wrap around Sergio De La Rosa. Puts it away. Side wall, front wall, left side, winner. So it's 5-1. Is it time for a timeout? I think they should uh, at least, as he's doing, is delay the serve a little bit, up to 10 seconds. It's fascinating. Most of Beltran's shots during the rally have been up to the ceiling. Or controlled lobs. <laughs> Ball still alive. Safety hold up. I think that was the right call. He's asking for an avoidable. It was not a, it was not a straight in shot. Well. Uh, his impression is the ball was so high he had to rip it da down into the into the tin, if you will. He's not awarding an avoidable. So that's his impression, and the call stands. So it's well they replay first serve five one Mexico serving. Like it, Kane or not? That's the call. That's what it is. Again, all in the advent of safety, we didn't want him to swing. Half lob. <laughs> Overhead return. Drop winner by De La Rosa, 6-1. Impression, impressive. I was talking a little bit to Alvaro before the, uh, the game, and his intention was always to slow the ball down, hit the lobs. He knows these young guys they just want to power through the ball, and we can see that, that that's what Costa Rica is doing, and, and they're making mistakes. Absolutely. Enticement. So it's 7-1 when we return. There's a timeout on the floor. Talk a little about World, Racqu uh, World Racquetball. 1981 was the first championships, Santa Clara, California. World Championships and the World Games together. Continued in 1984, also in California, in Sacramento. Okay. And here we are, the 21st edition in San Luis Potosi. Their first worlds were down the street at the Loma, La Loma Club. Beautiful facility as well, 1994. And then in 2000, when this club opened, they had the World Championships again. They opened the day of the tournament in this side of the city. There was very little electricity. Power went on multiple times. Anyway, here we go. 7-1, game number three, Mexico serving, leading 2-0. Great serve. Cover by Sergio. Ball down. So we call that a quality timeout by Costa Rica. It's 2-7. First game was 12-10. Second game was 11-2. So two points in Seguida in succession. 11-2. Costa Rica earns the serve and another point three seven game three. Skip, so another point four seven. You can hear in the background Gomez calling four seven cuatro siete. Sergio right side tried to splat that from. 39 and a half feet and put it in the floor. Tough shot. So handout and point for the receiving team. 8-4 or four serving eight, I should say. 
This is pool play. The top two teams in each of the flights or pools, if you will, will earn an opportunity into the single elimination sembrada, the draw, which will begin next Thursday, I believe. Reverse winner by Beltran. Mexico earns a serve. Two points from the match, 9-4. Half lob right. Textbook, sidewall, front wall, roll out, Beltran. So it's, it's match point number one here in San Luis Potosi. So ball down, great wallpaper served by Beltran. Mexico wins three games to zero. 12-10, 11-2, 11 11-4. We'll be back with another match shortly. You're watching the International Racquetball Federation Facebook page and YouTube. We'll be back to San Luis Potosi, Club La Loma. <laughs> 